So hey guys, Orange here and I'm today here to take on Bronzong and why he's so good and why I run him on every single team. So if you're wondering why I like him so much, this is why. He's a freaking devil bell. Just look at that face. Just that look like the face of murder. I mean, the face of mercy. Ah. So anyways, Pokedex entry reads, he once caused a news sensation after he was dug up at a construction site after a thousand years sleep. He slept for a thousand years without under a construction site. You don't mess with this guy. So, bro, Zong, you're really good. You're really OP. And I really like you. Even more than Metagross, even though he's a pseudo legendary, he can't compete. So, let's get on with it. So, here's why I love Bronzong or how I use him. So, the first thing you have to do in your way to training up your bronzo is you have to pair him up with Gliscor and and this area is for doubles in case you're wondering so the thing you have to do is for bronzo you go with the earthquake Gliscor he's just gonna keep swords dancing in case you see a ice type coming along just switch out Gliscor switch out bronzo go into some other, two other Pokemon in case there's no ice type or and you're thinking that the opponent doesn't have a ice type move just stay in Guys call you Sword Chance, Bronze is Earthquake. In case you can't un realize whether he has an Ice type move or not, well, that's why I run Focus Sash on Gliscor. So, in case he gets hit by an Ice type move, he'll survive, he'll switch out, he'll come back, he'll kill. So, Bronzo, use Earthquake, Gliscor, use Sword Chance. After you got the three Sword Chances up, because Gliscor should probably be able to live that. I'll show you what EVs are on him when I do a video up on him later. He, the two of them can kill things together. I mean, they're like the Mega Kangas can, but even stronger. So, here's the EVs, uh, I mean, here's the stats of Bronzong. He's got a 67 base HP, not that good. 89 base attack, that's kind of good. 116 defense, this is bouncing off the charts. 116 special defense, this too. 79 special attack and 33 speed. At level 100, the HP is 338, attack is 304, defense is 364, special attack is 282, speed is 181. You don't mess with this. The, for the moves, go with Earthquake, Toxic, Protect, and Trick Room. That's one of the best moves I've ever, move pools that I've ever run in my entire lifetime. Because Earthquake, just to kill, hit things. Toxic, for all those ferrothorns, all those, oh, I'm sorry, those are steel type, not ferrothorns, uh, all those defensive Pokemon which are not ferrothorn, just go for the toxic on them, and then go for the earthquakes, just to wear them out. So, Bronzong is a really good Pokemon, and also, go for the trick room, because your pitiful speed will now make Pokemon tremble in fear. The protect is also a really good, because Bronzong can just if you're predicting that people are gonna hit your bronzo, all the people are gonna, all the opponents Pokemon are gonna focus on your bronzo. Go for the protect on bronzo. Go for the sword chance on Gliscor. That's a free sword chance you got right there. So after that, for the EVs, you get 252 on the HP to raise that weak part, weak point. 252 plus on the attack to make that 304 attack, which is crazy and off the charts. You get four on the special defense because. More special defensive fire, uh, special attacking fire and dark types are run than uh, attacking the dark and fire types. So get the minus on the speed because they're running trick room. After that, nature brave plus attack and minus speed. There's also another way to learn uh, run bronzo with tox. In place of toxic, you can run iron defense to boost up with already high supreme defense. In place of the protect, you can run the calm mind to increase the special defense by a lot. In place of Trick Room, you can run Gravity to hit all those flying types, all those levitate guys. It's crazy. Bronzong is crazy. All that coverage. For the item, you can either mess with the Pokemon by going with the Citrus Berry, or you can go with the Leftovers. I myself go with the Citrus Berry, because the opponent strives and strives and gets you down to 40 HP. And Bronzong just sits there, grins at the opponent, smiles his devil bell laugh, and then eats the citrus berry, the opponent rage quits. Leftovers is also really good, 
I don't know actually because I haven't used it, but it should be really good. So for the ability, it's levitate. I mean, you could also go for the fireproof, but since for this strategy, Glyscore is using earthquake, go for the levitate. Not only is it important for the strategy you're running, but it's also important because a huge weakness is lost right there. The weakness to ground. I mean, if you're running in singles, fireproof is a really good ability. You lose the weakness to fire. People don't expect it. Oh, so you could run it doubles, but don't run it with Glyscore then. Run it with some Ferrothorn or something like that. So that was my strategy upon how to use Bronzo. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys want to watch more of this. So leave likes and subscribes if you do. Goodbye.